Yeah, yeah, here it is Friday all of a sudden and uh, time to put out a movie for all you guys and girls. The uh, 1982 Volkswagen Westphalia. What a surprise. So what happened this week was, oh, I got back from world travels and then I'm uh, back on the job. So I'll just show you what I did. Now, where am I? Over this way. Oh, come on camera, you can do it. There you are, coming around. So this week was all about the uh, floor. I think I had last week, it's all covered with dirt now, right? Last week I had it, uh, this part was in but not complete and there was a big hole still over there. So that's all in there now. Everywhere you look there's floor. Then I went over to that's the driver's side, right? Oh, uh, maybe I'll have you a look underneath here. See what? Can you see underneath here? Wait a minute, I'll get you some light. Oh dear, yeah, get some light here. I can see a couple of pinholes there that have to be fixed. Light coming through. Hang on. So there, and that's underneath now. All the way along there is welded in. Now, over to the other side, which would be the passenger side, right? Passenger side in North America, anyhow. So this part here, turn this light around a bit. Now, where am I? Pretty ugly in here. That part there was put in by the last, the previous guys, and they did their usual, hmm, not really a great job of welding it in, but I took a look at it and it, it looked like it's going to be good for another, you know, 10 years even. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to dick with it. I'll just leave it in there. And I fixed, there was a little hole right here. So I, I cut that bit out and put in new metal there. This had a hole here. So I cut that out and there was a hole. This here was this here. This part here was, had a, had a problem. So I fixed that. Next is right in the middle of the car here by the gear shift there's a can you see that a rusty bit right about here somewhere right yeah yeah you can see that so that's that has to be addressed this i'm going to hit this with a bit of uh, a le um, rust converter leave it overnight and then i'll uh, take a look at it tomorrow and see if i can fix it up a bit there's a couple of holes there that should be fixed and that hole should be there, that hole, half of it should be there. But the rest of it is, it's reasonably good. So I'm going to let it be and just put a new cover over it and see how that works out. That, anyhow, that's for next week. This week here is done and uh, made some pretty good progress. It doesn't look like an awful lot, but it is a, like a lots of work. Stick around, you'll see everything that happened and uh, then there'll be a, walk to the beach and a little bit of uh, footage of the new puppy buster okay bye for now yeah 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 there yeah. here we are back at the yep there oh yeah here we are back at the grind again heading for that shop right there work on the Volkswagen a little while it was sadly neglected for a few days last week there, so time to get to it. I finished up that thing there yesterday, and it seemed to have kept the rain out for that little bit of an event that happened here. It wasn't much of an event. Yeah, I know, I've got those holes all filled in. Needs some more grinding in there. I'll have to get in there with a different kind of wheel. But it's all everything's looking good along here now i just have to get out to this bit in here and get that closed in somehow or other anyhow that'll be next on the list yeah now this piece right here has got to look it's got to have a poopy thing on it like that i think that's right Not like this yeah like that and so and then I got to cut it out that much of it 
on the outside line there that'll get just a bit bigger than I need and then I'll sort it out yeah here now take two it's not too bad a fit right in there see how that comes together after I get it welded in I'll have to do a little bit of pushing and shoving to get it in the right spot but it'll come I think give it a try yeah yeah so there that's welded in front and back so it should be good now I have to I haven't done anything down here yet I'm still pending on it I haven't done anything down here yet there's a little bit of uh well I'll weld it up and see what happens see if it blows through anyhow now next is maybe this piece that goes around here and that would be this part of the floor done pretty well give it a try yeah so there now I've put in a piece here I tried making a piece to go right around but it's just too many curves and upside downs so I have to just do it piece by piece I'll see if I can get another piece in here and another piece in there to make it so it fits to the floor properly and then I can cut the back piece of the floor out I don't know can you see this yeah see all this stuff here that has to be cut out because otherwise the wheel hit it but coming along anyhow that's light shining right in your eye there right so that's all for today and I'll hopefully see you all again tomorrow bye for now yeah there's something I've been meaning to get to is get the boat ready for winter it can just live right there I'll likely move it back a bit so that it's out of the way of the snowblower hmm that'd be a good idea right I'll do that one of these days before the snow comes or we hope before the snow comes anyhow that cover there should keep it a fairly fairly good I put a pole along the top of it so that it won't it will uh, snow won't gather in it too badly we'll see how it goes yeah and then I got all the old lawn furniture into here so that's A little bit more room for stuff there if I need to, but I don't think I need to. Anyhow, we'll just see. And the lawnmower, I've got a charger on that. Hopefully that battery comes back to life. Yeah, now it's back to the task at hand here. Is this looking at the right way? Or somewhere right in here. So i got to build this piece that goes around like that. And this floor isn't level, of course. And so I'm trying to make it so that it looks sort of like it did in the original stuff. Might be a bit of a challenge, right? I'll see what I can do about it. Yeah, there's light in your eye. Hey, let me see the light. Okay, now this whole thing here, it's a good thing. It's going to be covered with carpeting and everything like that because it's a major hatch, hack job in there. Anyway, but it's all welded in and solid and a couple of holes to fill still, but nothing too serious. Now I have to cut out here. Can you see any of this underneath here? Yeah, sort of. In here, this, this shelf here, they've got to be cut off of there so that the wheel fits in without getting uh, flat. Okay. Anyway, I'll do that next. Yeah, there now they underside doesn't look too bad now so what I did was now I got a light in one hand and the camera in the other hand what will I do oh, just, can you see is there enough light there just barely eh? so in here now this came out a little bit overlap so I pounded it up tight against all the way along now I'll run a weld along all along there and that'll seal that up pretty good then I just got a hole to fix in there that's that's from my body work and then like right right there you can see it I gotta fix that and then in here gotta fix this and weld along here and clean up this there's a little bit here that just needs fixing so I'll do that okay when I point right right here there was like at the weak spot there so I'll See if I can fix it with a bit of weld. If I don't have, if I have to, I'll just cut it out and put a new piece in. Anyhow, there you go.
Yeah, there, that's welded up. I have to get in there and do some grinding and clean that up so it looks better. But it can, it will look better. Now I'll make a piece for here and see if I can get that all put back together properly. Then, that hole there to fix. I think I fixed that hole back there. That hole there to fix and uh, then we're pretty well done with it. Oh yeah, not pretty well. I've got to fix the other side there. Oh dear, oh dear, there's quite a bit to go yet. All right, well, keep at it here. Yeah, there, that's all. Oh, I forgot that little bit right there. I'll have to do that, won't I? That'll be on the list right now. And I think there's a pinhole right there. I can see it. So that'll be on the list right now, too. Okay. Yeah, what was I doing while you weren't watching? So here, I made this piece here, put that hoopy thing in it on the bottom, and it goes right about in there. Now I made it half an inch or an inch back from that crease here, so I don't have to weld right on the crease when I get to it. But I'm going to put this piece in, just tack it in, and then start working on getting the rest of the little pieces in here built. This part here, whoops, where am I pointing? Over here, it comes out kind of flat to here, and then it curves up and then it goes across. But this is a flat, should be flat here, coming down to here, well, to here, and then bends in. So I think I can do that, and then I'll fill in this edge piece. Well, this edge piece here is pointing the wrong way. So anyhow, I'll tack this right here, bang, and then I'll start getting the rest of the stuff built. Yeah, now there, that piece has gone in there, and I'll make a piece now to come from here, whoops, where am I pointing, from here to here, then this piece will go in later, and that piece will go in later, this piece here comes down here and flanges on there, and then it's butt, a butt weld into the rest of it. Anyhow, I'll see what I can come up with. So, that's all for today, anyhow, and uh, we'll carry on with this next time I'm here. Yeah, yeah, good morning from Holland Cove. Anyway, here I am, made it back from a week away, and this is what I get home to. A little bit of snow. Now, just when I came in on the airplane last night about midnight or one o'clock, there was uh, no snow, but this just happened overnight. So anyway, I'm pretty sure it'll clear off quickly because it usually does at this time of year. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, here I am back again after uh, about a week off doing other stuff. So uh, where was I? Where did I leave off? Oh yeah, here's where I left off. Oh, actually I left myself off in a fairly good spot. Now I, I haven't thought about how to do that. I haven't thought about anything. But that piece there is in and solid. So now I have to... I think the next step is to make this piece to go in here somehow or other. And it's kind of a tapered down to about here and then flattens out. So I'll see if I can do that. Now, you'll be happy to know that my heater seems to be working fine. It's not very toasty warm outside, but it's pretty nice and toasty warm in here. Because look at that, there's snow on the ground and everything like that. So, I think that uh, the heater's a success so far. Yeah, now here I've got a piece of metal. See that black line there? So this part here gets bent that way flat. This part here gets bent back again. So I got to do the back again first, I think, and then I'll do that bit there. I'll just see what happens here. Here, you know, we'll just watch and see. Don't know what's going to happen. So first, if that goes in about there, I think that's the way, the way to go, because it's got to go flattened out, right? Okay. Try that, and if not, I'll just straighten it out again to see what happens. Like that, and this bit here, I needed a mark on the back side here. And, I don't know, are you 
you see now this so I've got that bent like that there, that there. But I gotta get a mark on either side of it. So three inches in and three inches in is right there. I don't know whether I'll make that or not. We'll just see what happens. And I hope you're seeing this. It goes right there. So there, that's kind of how it sits in there. See that? Hope you can see that. That might work. Now I have to <laughs> cut a relief here and here, flatten that across here, and then bend it up. I'll just have to go off camera here for a bit and do some cutting. That was recording there anyhow still recording so you saw what happened there maybe but I did I cut a relief there and there so that I can make that bend like that now it's just a matter of trimming it up to fit into that spot I'll show you this will take some it'll take a bit of <laughs> editing that because I left the camera on where I didn't intend to but that's okay. You likely saw what happened. Here I am on the other side. Now, that piece is going to go like right in there. Whoops, there. Got to point the right way. So, that piece is going to sit right in there like that. And that's pretty close to what it's supposed to do. This piece is going to come down and hit on there. And so what I'll have to do is, hmm, well, I'll trim this up to fit, and then I'll, let this this will curve a little bit in here. This piece will curve and, and hit on here. And then I'll cut the back off it. So I've got to do those two at once, kind of. But that seems to be going to work. See what I can do about trimming that up to fit here. So there, now... I've got that piece there pretty near set to go in and uh, it should sort of settle on there. I'm going to tack it here. Where am I? Where's my hand? Tack it here and then I'll put a tack on here somewhere, somewhere so I can remove it again. Then I'll take it off like I'll mark where I want to cut this because I don't think I can cut and butt in there. Then I'll see if I can make it trim in there to fit. See what happens. Yeah, now here, where am I? Okay, so I put a little tack here, a little tack here, tack here and tack here. So I'm going to see if I can see that pedal's in the way, right? I'm going to see if I can cut that. For the most part across whoops we're pointing down the wrong way cut that for the most part across here and then i might have to pull it out again break break these welds or just cut those welds and trim it in we'll see well, i haven't uh, haven't decided yet what i'll do but first i'll cut it across here and just see how it fits in there falls in yeah, now there's that piece. Not too bad. This little bit of a bump here I gotta solve. I think I can solve it. We'll see what happens here. I need to put a pair of pliers in there. I think I just pull up and pull down and do everything like that. Yeah, they're now coming together. The um, 
I put a piece in here. Now this, I welded it hard there because this wire is underneath here and I didn't want to get it. I was holding it down while I was welding there so it doesn't get burned later. But I'll have to hold it down again there later. Again. Maybe I'll put something behind it and hold it down and give it a guard. There. That'll just keep it off of there and then I'll reach up from underneath and get that later sometime. Anyway, this little bolt here, I put that on to hold down the uh, that that bracket there. I just hooked it on right there with that bolt. And that should hold it for the next 20 years or so. And then this part here is, seems to fit all right. That's where the gas pedal goes, right in there. I wonder what clicked there. Oh well. So now the next thing I do is uh, I'm going to build this piece in here. It goes along here. So I'll just make it to here, here to here, here to here first, because that's easy. This part here has got a little bit of like there's a little bit of a hoop there that it's got to come up against. And oh dear, dear. See what happens. Okay. We'll see what goes. Anyhow, that'll be for tomorrow because it's quitting time today. Another another day goes by. But the floor is getting to be close to done. Close to being solid. <laughs> that'll be alright. And once it's done, it's all covered up with uh, cushioning and then carpeting. So it's not like it's... Uh, not like anybody's ever going to see it. Well... And actually, it's not too bad anyhow. So, we'll let her be. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow, I hope. Yeah, hi there. Back for another day on it. Here, I'll show you where I got to yesterday. I think you remember. I think I don't remember. Yeah, so here, onto this bit here. That's just tacked in until I get this far here sorted out. So now I've got to put a piece in here with a flange on it. But down here... Hmm, that has a flange on it there. Wait till I look at the other side here, because it's, the flange ends somewhere there. Hmm, we'll just see. Yeah, see that flange ends right there. So that's, and then it's a molded piece. So, let me just go and check on the other side. Did you see that? So this part here has a flange all the way around it. Ends right there. And then where am I looking? And down here is a molded piece down. So, interesting. I'll just see what it looks like at the other side here now. Because I think I might have the flange. Might not have to do anything about flange. Flange, 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 flange. Yeah, this piece here is supposed to come down with a flange on it there, but it's a little bit different on this side. Well, that's all right. I can make, I'll make this piece here. Where am I pointing? <laughs> Sorry. I'll make this piece here going from here to wherever I get to. Then, hmm. This is going to be not exactly the same as on the other side because I've, I'm already crowded over that way. I want to make sure I have room for my foot for the gas pedal, right? So, I'll see what I can build in here to make this look right. Or look reasonable, a reasonable facsimile of what it should look like, hey? So, it's not too tough and I don't think, I think I'll make a straight line here. Then I think I will put a flange from here, a straight line with a flange on it, right? That'll make it easy. This part here, I'll make a piece that goes from here. Whoops, where am I going? From here to here, because it gets slowly lower. And I'll see what I can do about how I can connect it at this end here. 
from here and then a little tiny piece goes in there with kind of a flange on it but not really much of one so oh well figure it out yeah so there's the first piece to go in there and the next piece I'll see what I can do about it hmm maybe I should cut this edge off of here so that flange just tapers off there I think I'll do that. I'll just cut that edge off so the flange tapers off and then it can go to be a butt welded up here end to end. See what happens. Yeah, so there's piece number one in there, solid. That makes the floor pretty solid. Then uh, I'll see if I can make a piece to fit in here. It'll just sort of it'll just sort of fit in there. I'll try and butt it along the edges there. Hmm, that might be difficult, but I'll do what I can. See what I can do. Yeah, so now I've just, uh, oh, that's hot still. I've got this center bit fill, filled in. There's lots of grinding to do there. And now I've just got to fill in that little corner right there. And it kind of, the flange kind of comes over the top of that, but I think it'll be in. I think the flange ends right there today. And then I'll fill in this piece if I can. Looks like there's... Yeah, I got a bit of a extra welding there to do. Cause it's cutting extra there. And then there's a little hole in here that I got to sort of fill in somehow or other. I'll see what I can do about that. Then down here to this end, which won't be, yeah, well, famous last year words, eh? Will be pain. Anyhow, I'll keep on. Well, there now. That's a floor in there now again which is nice to see hey that took a lot of work anyhow this uh this bit up here i just patched it in like i did a patch there i did a patch here i did a patch here and another couple of them getting around this corner here but now when i get them all grounded off it'll look a little bit better right now it sure doesn't get any pretty well the wards does it no so This one here was the most difficult one. Where am I pointing? Right here? Yeah, right here. That was the most difficult one because it had to come up over and back down that way. And so I cut a relief in it so it would bend in the right way. And I actually used a cardboard, piece of cardboard to make a template for that. For the most part, it seems to be pretty solid again. Now I still have to get these ones fixed in the middle here. I'll just grind them away a bit and see what we have there for sure before I do anything. And this thing here still needs to be welded along that seam here, along that seam there, and then along here, and then it's got to be grinded up a bunch. This seam here, whoops, where am I pointing? Can you see that? Yeah, this seam right here, it doesn't, it gets just filled in with uh, seam sealer stuff, the way it was before, and I think that'll waterproof it, so that'll be all right. I won't, I won't weld across that gap there, because it wasn't done before either. Okay, I'll carry on and uh, finish welding up all this stuff here. Then I'll get it on the on the grinder for a while. Then I'll show you what it's like. But it's uh, that's a day's work right there, putting that in, and it's pretty near quitting time. So maybe I'll just leave it for tomorrow and finish it up tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon and uh, see how things are doing. So Wednesday today. So yeah, I'll might have this floor finished by Friday. Yay! Yeah, here I am back on the... What is this thing? 1982 Volkswagen. So, i got to finish up that side of the floor there today. And then I'll start taking a look at this side of the floor here and see what I can come up with. Okay. Yeah, uh, there it goes. That's the floor in there now. Sounds pretty solid, so I imagine it's going to be all right. Now, next I'll, uh, hmm, what will I do? Will I switch sides and then do the center after? I think that's what I'll do. So I'll switch sides, do over there whatever needs doing. I see a hole there somewhere. Then, after that, it might be time to take the dash off, which I talked about a long time ago, and then uh, take the windshield out and see if I can fix up around the window and up around the front end of it. 
Then it's just the bottom of these two doors. Hmm. Then I think I'm pretty done with the welder. Huh. Oh yeah, got a couple of holes in the back there underneath all those boxes. And there's a hole back right down here. And don't know if there's one over there or not, but I'll check it out. Anyway, coming along all right. Yeah, now here's the passenger side. So this piece here has got that black paint on it, right? And that really usually means disappointment for me. And in this case, it's true. Look at that. The uh, Can you see all that? So there's the old one here. And then they just put that insert in there. I'm not really sure how it's held in, if it is held in. But I guess I'll have to investigate because there's a hole here, which is right here. You can see my finger. Looks like, I don't know. Anyway, the old piece is still good about here somewhere. I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll take the needle scaler to it and see what comes out of it. Yeah, so here now I've tried to get this scraped apart so that I can see how it's all held together. I got some of the yucco off on this side here. And that's in there solid. It's in there well. I don't know why. But I'm happy with it the way it is. I'll, I'll just cut out this bit here and replace, where am I pointing? Right in here, this place here. I'll cut that out and replace the metal there. And it might turn out okay. And then over here, there's a couple of spots where I'll just, I'll cut this back here. Can you see? I wonder if you can see that. I can't tell what I'm pointing at. But I'll cut this back from here across here and then fix the faceplate if it needs it. And then I'll just uh, put a new plate on here. That'll be reasonably easy. I'd have to take a look at that right there. Can you tell what's going on? I'll, I'll put the needle scaler to that right there and see what happens. Okay. That's... Uh, Update for now. We'll see what changes. Yeah, so now here I am. Now here, this bit here, I don't, it's not a perfect repair, but I don't think I could do any better. I don't think I could make it any better. Like I could likely do some stuff to it, but I don't think it would make it much better than it is right now. So I'm going to leave it. I think it'll last another 20 years or so. Then we'll deal with it after 20 years. Yeah. Will I be here in 20 years? No. But I have to just cut this stuff out of here that's got holes in it right through. And I'll remake this area here so that it comes out all right. And uh, fix up that area over there. Huh. That makes it not too tough to do. So I guess I'll let the thing down a little bit more so I can get to it now. Yeah, so here now, the uh, I cleaned off all that, uh, whatever you call that, all that rubber stuff. They just put heat to the other side of it, and then you can get a, a chisel, or I use a wood chisel and scrape it out of there. But that's all good metal. You can see it's all good metal underneath there, so no troubles. Anyway, we'll just see what I can come up with here. Oh, I better catch you up. Here's the piece I took out of there. So I'll just sort of uh, build it one, one thing at a time. First one in is this side here and the second one in is this piece here and the last one in is that piece right there. So I'll make the first piece first and then see what I can do about getting it to fit. Yeah yeah so there now I made myself a bit of a pattern to go in here, right? Out of a little chunk of cardboard. And then transferred that over to a piece of metal. Oh, there it is. And so it fits in there fairly nicely. And I'll just tack it in and uh, that'll be that for that part. 
yeah, so there's that piece in there. Now I'll just make a piece to go in here if I can. That might be a bit more difficult, but see what happens. Yeah, so that last piece is proving to be pretty difficult to get in there. So, and it's quitting time, so I'll come back with a fresh mind tomorrow, maybe. See if I can do any better at it. Anyhow, there we are. What's going on here now? Yeah, there. Where am I? Yeah, there I am. So, another day goes by Thursday. I'll work tomorrow, and then I'll get a movie out, I hope. See you then. No, where am I pointing? Hey. Oh dear me. There. That's pointing right now. Don't know how it got pointed down. Wonder what I was pointing to last time I was shooting at it. Oh well. So there. That's in. And pretty messy. But I'll I'll put that fiberglass filler over this stuff. That's what they had on there before too. So now this part here. I'll see if I can do a little bit of cutting here and just, it won't take too much because that, that hole there, you know, can you see that? That hole there is just, just a little hole. And this part here, there's supposed to be a hole underneath there. I'll just fix up that flange and, and then it should be okay. Okay. See what happens. Yeah, it's pretty noisy with that air compressor going, but there's that cut out of there. And this lights never stay where you want. This is the uh, support, and it's in good shape all the way along. I got the spot walls off of it, and I'll just cut a new piece, put it across in there, and then fix up that end up there, and the fingers kind of through. Somehow or other, I'll figure that out. Okay. Yeah, don't you like it when you get something fairly easy to do? It's only just a little bit of a bend in it here to make it fit in here. And oh, let me just get myself sorted out here. So then it fits in something like this. Whoops. Not to like this here. Excuse my hand. Something like about that, and uh, then I've got these plug welds here fixed, set so that I can fill in the holes that are underneath them. Anyway, there you go. I'll get it welded in and show you. Yeah, there now I've got that that piece in there. And then I hit this stuff over here with a, a dose of rust converter, and right here with a dose of rust converter. Just see how it looks tomorrow. Now over here, uh, you can't really tell because it's so much in the way. Yeah. So here, right, like a, a hmm, right along here and there, there's some rust. Now I know that there's a, a brace underneath the uh, underneath the thing there, and that's where the water is catching and it's getting the rust on it. So I'll see what I can do about just putting a new piece of metal in there. And I know that I th I'm pretty sure the brace is good because the water just comes off of that. Anyhow, I'll check it out. I'll, I guess it's cutting and pasting. Yeah, yeah, so here it is. Well, I gotta put the light somewhere. So that's rusted right through there. And it rusted right through there. Now, in the, I think there's a spot weld here. And a spot weld maybe there. Here and there. So. Yep, I guess I'll do a little bit of cutting here and see what happens. I don't know for sure. Yeah, so here's the underneath of it. That's, I think it's mostly solid. Let's just... Right there is a bad spot. Right there is a bad spot. So for the most part, it's all right. I'm gonna hit it with a case with a dose of uh, 
rust converter and let it set overnight and then I'm gonna come and see what I can do about it tomorrow put a new piece in here which is easy and see if we can uh, make it so it w make it so it works because it looks like that's plenty thick that metal I haven't drilled through and those holes that hole there is supposed to be there that hole there is supposed to be there but not that big so anyway there you go but that's pretty well it for today I think I've been got this side done all covered with dirt now this side here was surprisingly not that tough to do I thought I'd be at that for a few days but it's done this thing here days work on that and be done so maybe I'll get the vacuum cleaner out tomorrow and I'll clean it up a bit but Friday it is so what what did I do got that side Barney Rubbles disappeared got that side Barney Rubbles evicted this one here well I don't think you get your feet through it but it needs to be fixed I don't know if there's some more back here a little bit at the back here that has to be addressed anyway we'll get her that's all coming along all right the uh, 1982 Volkswagen Westphalia yeah so it's about well just about old dark o'clock at four o'clock here it's amazing so I'll see you next week all for now bye for now yeah here I am <laughs> yeah Buster come on Buster just gets too close you can't even get a picture of him hey coming down to the beach back at Holland Cove hey don't think much changed here in a week we'll have a look though really high tide today came in look at that there's ice on the pond huh. isn't that something I guess it's getting close to winter hey I imagine the end of November is kind of winterish uh, no ice on the pond over there just ice on the one pond And, yeah, tide came in pretty high today. And there's lots of seaweed on the beach. Tide came up to that mark. Where's that little dog? The little dog is impossible to get a picture of because he's always right underneath your feet. That's Buster. Buster. Come on, Buster, we're going back up. What a pile of seaweed around everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so they're getting to know one another. Tony takes the odd swipe at him, and then Buster barks at Tony. Let's go. There's the odd swipe, right? More swipes. Yeah, Buster doesn't care. I just want to be your pal. I just want to have some fun. Now let's go over and check out this tree. It's just as much fun as a cat. Here, Buster, come on. That'll cure the problem right there. And Tony will come along in his own good time. That's a good dog, Buster. Oh, there. Let's go back and check out the cat. Here, Buster. Here. 
Yeah, he comes when he's called. Sort of. Here, Buster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very obedient little dog. Come on. <laughs> yeah, not very, very cooperative today. So he's going to go that way. Where am I looking? There, he finally is coming. Come on, Buster. There. 